Hey folks, this is Carlin from Tables, and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple audit log to keep track of changes in your table. Here you'll see one of our example applicant trackers right from our templates. You'll see we're tracking candidates for various job positions and the stage they're in. Now we want to keep track of any changes to a candidate stage. Let's create a table to keep track of our changes. We'll call this change log. And let's go ahead and track the candidate, what stage they're in, who updated it. Let's make this a person type column, which allows us to show people with rich profile chips. And let's track when the change happened using this create time column, which tells us when the row has been created. And we can clear some of these blank rows by selecting and right click delete. Let's head back to the applicants table and create a bot. Let's name this change logger and let's set a trigger such that whenever someone changes the stage, we will then add a new row to our change log table. Then let's copy over information into the columns we created. When you click on one of these fields, you'll see you have two options. Setting a column value will let you manually put in a value just like you would if you were entering data into the grid. Setting a template value allows us to use data from the table columns. So we can carry over the candidate name, the updated stage, and to keep track of who updated this stage, we're gonna use a special variable here which gives us the email of the last person who updated this row. Now that we have the bot all set up, Let's test this on Alex Anderson and change the stage from phone screen to on-site interview. And in our log, you can see that it tracked the change to Alex Anderson by me just now. Finally, you can see all changes made to a table or row by the history button here on the toolbar.